Hi there, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I'm going to show you another little Christmassy crafty idea with some of these pine cones. Now these are larger than normal pine cones, but you can do this with small pine cones. You don't, you don't have to have like the huge ones. So what we're going to start by using is this Mod Podge. Now you can use PVA glue, that works absolutely fine for this. And what we're going to do is put some... Um, glue on the tips here and then we're going to sprinkle it with some glitter now i'm using red glitter purely because um that will tie in with the color bow that i'm going to use and this one is just the cheap glitter that came from b&m this is actually in phoebe's craft stash so it doesn't even have to be the you know the expensive glitter so once i'd painted it over with the glue i sprinkled it over with the glitter and then they look something like this so once you've done that um I would recommend giving them a little bit of a spray with some kind of lacquer just to hold hold them on. Now, I use this one from um, Wilco, so I'm going to do that. I haven't done that to these yet, um, but I'm going to sort of spray that over the top. Um, then we're going to use the bows. Now, I will link the bow tutorial in the description down below if you don't know how to make these bows. And the bow that I'm going to use is the full bow. Now, it can have um, the tassels on. The tails or it can have uh, no tail it's completely up to you um, but what we're going to do is we're going to attach the um, pine cones to the bow and we're going to make like a display really like a nice Christmassy display now for that um, these pine cones are actually quite heavy so might be better off with slightly smaller ones but I've only got this big size so I'm going to use those so what I'm going to do to start with is to get some of this ribbon now this is the same ribbon that I used for the top part of the bow and it came from B&M and I do believe let me just see I think it was around about 2.7 meters and I used two types two two different styles but a full roll of each okay so to start with I'm going to um, attach these pine cones to some ribbon okay so I found some red ribbon here and I'm going to sort of I suppose roughly work out what I'm going to need so I'm going to get a long piece to start with and around the top of the pine cone I'm going to tie the ribbon now if you wanted to you could attach wire here um, that would work just as well but I thought the ribbon would look quite nice because it would kind of go in with the um, with the rest of the ribbon so I thought it would look quite cute quite sort of sweet so I'm going to keep to the same theme of the golds and the greens so I've just tied that in there and then I'm just going to snip this little little bit there of the ribbon just do that now okay so that is one side now if you notice I've got a really really long piece because what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the other end um, to this pine cone here so I'm roughly going to work out how long I want it and it is tricky to get the length right at this stage so I am just guessing and it will depend on I can't give you the measurements because it will depend on the size of your pine cones how long your ribbon is and you know various things but if it's cut it too long as as opposed to too short because you can always cut a bit off so that's what I always say so I'll just tie that in and then again snip off that part now I've just dropped these ribbons on the floor so I'm just going to pick those up so now what we're going to do is we're going to stick it all together so we've got our pine cones here I think they'd look quite nice a bit staggered so not all exactly the same so I'm kind of going to hold it like that and find the middle part of this these two lengths of ribbon so I'm just going to fold it in half get the middle and then the middle there that is what I'm going to put onto this so I'm going to get some wire and although you can't see it these pine cones are slightly staggered I'm just going to get some of this normal wire I'll pop the wire in the uh, the description below and all I'm going to do is just tie it around I'm sorry you can't see the pine cones but as long as you can see this part it's quite tricky to do sometimes I'm just going to tie it round I'll loop it perhaps around there a little bit more 
And then we're going to attach that to this part of the bow. Now the bow that I'm using here is one that I made in a previous video. It's the full bow with the tails. Now we don't actually need the tails on this because this part here is going to act as a tail. But I wanted to use this because as soon as I've made it, it kind of screamed out to me to, to use it for this. So what I can do is I can leave these small tails on or... What you can do is bend them round like that. Probably easiest to hot glue them. So just bend them back in and I'm gonna make an extra loop so we've got it a bit fuller because these long bits are lacked as a tail so we don't want extra. So what you would need would be the full bow without tails. So I'm just gonna glue those together now. Right, so I've just stuck that at the back. I think that looks better. It's like a little ball really. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put some ribbon on the top so I'm going to pop some ribbon um, behind the back I'm just going to tie it to one of these little stray bits and this is what I'm going to use to hang my um, my display up so all this is going to be hidden it's just... right so I've pulled the camera back just slightly just so you can see a bit better so I've just tied this on and also secured it with a bit more of the hot glue just to make it sort of a bit more a bit stronger really so you've got that little like posy with a handle on it so then we're going to go back to our first part here and bring this in so as you can see you've got the tails here and you've also got the, um, the ribbon with the pine cones on and I think I don't know if you agree they look nice when they're staggered so we will just put the points in the ribbons because I think that looks nice and I do like that so I'll just do that on both sides and then what we're going to do is to tie the top part to the bottom if you remember we put this bit of wire on so this will make it really easy um, to tie it on so just get the back here and get your wire I'm going to do it off camera because it is fiddly and I'll just um, end up wiggling the camera about and goodness knows what so I'm just going to use this this wire here and tie the top part on to the bottom part and here we go it's all finished I'll try and pull the camera out just a little bit so you can see it a bit better but it's tricky to get like a good shot but I think that looks really cute you've got the bit of ribbon at the top there to hang it up you've got your nice bow display and then at the bottom there you've got your little tails with the beautiful sparkly pine cones so that's it guys thank you so much for watching um, i hope you're all okay and um give this craft a go it's not expensive um as i say check out the video down below so you can see how to make these bows but i would recommend doing the one without the tail and then adding the tail on afterwards it'll just make it a bit easier i think so thank you so much guys and i'll see you all again soon bye for now